Hello, my friend. <laughs> a little bit EP. Got my coffee. Ready to wake up slowly. Have a nice morning. Yesterday was grind set hours, chat. Yesterday was grind set hours. So we did eight hour stream with two coaching sessions. And you know what I did after that? I ate dinner and then I went to gym and then I went for a run. I was so exhausted. It was unreal. I think that's like right now I'm, I, I'm still exhausted. We're on that grind set. I know life is only fun if you push yourself. That's what I find. That's what I find. When you push yourself, that's when life is fun. Okay. What are we playing first game of the day here? I still haven't really found my elo pick yet. That's a problem chat. We need to find the elo pick to make winning and climbing much easier. Right now, I don't know what I should play to try to carry every game, you know? Usually, like I always talk about this, right? I usually try to find my elo picks. And those are the picks I try to play every game. Maybe we try Kaisa again? I think, we, I think we go Kaisa here. I was thinking Nocturne is also a champ I really want to ban. But something I always try to like talk about when people ask me about the difference between any elos. Usually, I think uh, for me, when I look at the difference between elos, you say it's it's... It's a mix of this, okay? It's a mix of better, the higher elo guy understands the matchup a bit better. He understands the champion he's playing a bit better, what their win cons are, how to play towards it. Usually a bit better mechanics, a bit better execution of his decisions, right? This execution of fights, the laning phase as well looks a bit better. And it's hard to pinpoint like one thing. Hey, what if we go PTA this game? Let's try PTA this game. We've tried, let's try all the runes on Kai'Sa. I think I want to try Triumph as well. My jungler is called 6 Grubs or 15. I think this guy is from my nightmare, bro. I've had nightmares about this guy. That's not what I want. Who cares about 6 Grubs? Every main ADC, searching for one good streamer on ADC to learn more. Yep. I am a professional ADC player that also streams on the side and try to create some educational content. Okay, we got the free fans on the enemy team. I think, do we have the map cover on? We do. Nice, good. I mean, this matchup should be pretty free on bots. Maybe I should have went cleanse this game, but the barrier is pretty nice for the laning phase as well. We're gonna fist fight a lot. Yeah, they're gonna fully respect, so I'm not gonna hit. I think I shouldn't have done these two auto attacks even, because if they hit the wave at all level one, Pike can legit just them now we can zone from xp let's see now the problem is like this is because i hit the wave right that we don't zone them from xp here maybe we can get a trade going it's a minion so here this pushes a lot faster than it should because i hit the minions at the start right so i really shouldn't have done that if I thought about it more, I would know that if they had all tried to contest level 1, Pike can just hook them and we hard win all in. This Pike is just so strong level 1. Put a W a bit better to the side and point the passive. I think I was a good on Dug off an auto engine, but it was a nice sidestep on the brand W. I'll go ward here. Uh, actually, they have sweepers. I think I'll ward here. There, I make sure that I don't give him the fourth shot. I have no words actually. Hello? Shine bright on the easy sky now. Wasinobi. Lux Petra. Huge, huge, huge for play team. I was thinking the LEC dream was dead for next year, but it seems like it could maybe still be a live shot. I have some tryouts coming up. If you're not an LEC next year, but we're still playing competitive then, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could play one last year on Heretics. Or uh, I could stop. But playing again in Spain, it's not the most tempting. I'm going to be honest. Because I've played in Spain now for many years. I've won the league three times. I've won the league three times. That's that's many times, chat. That's many times. Playing in LEC again is very, very exciting for me. Holy, the CS lead is crazy, chat. 30 CS lead. Well, if Jin catches this, he'll get a lot. But maybe we can try to... Kind of dive, you know, it's not like fully dive, but it's like Pike hits a hook under tower and then uh, and we can kill them off of it. Get the W here. Oh, it was a bad timing for the W because I ended up taking power shot, but I can't, can't kill them, but you can just pressure them like this. Oh, Aurora's here. Ah, I'm a griefer. I think I saw her chat. I'm pretty sure we saw her and I'm stupid. I should just flash the brunt. Oh, what am I doing? You know? I 
I need to crush this wave. I think I can one me two in this wave. I'm level seven. I, won't back I mean, this is bad though, Nash. I'll be no die. Really, we die, Nash? So obvious. Nice. Not terrible, not terrible. Uh, who flashed there? Brand flash? Shreds? I think maybe only Brand. I don't know if Jin flashed. I was thinking about ulting on the Jin, but I think since he has barrier and everything, it was too hard. So a little little fun fact of Kaisa's Q that maybe not everybody knows is that Kaisa Q uh, has a sort of execute, which if you hold shift here, minions below 35% health take 200% damage. This is something they put in so that uh, when you're last hitting, or like when you're playing Kai'Sa and you want to push, how you actually want to push is you want to make all the minions close to low, under 35%, right? So what I did there, right, is I hit the casters a few times, I hit the melees a few times, and then I Q. Make sure that it kills all the minions. I'm on this wave chat. I I'm still only once so I can dive him. Oh, I out of power. Oh, I out of power chat. Out of power. And I'm also not only one. Nay. Nee. I ended up not buying anything here because I really want pickaxe or Q all, but maybe I should just want recurbo or something. Huge static perk. Oh, my journal only got five grubs, so. I wonder he's still the chat. Let's just push this next wave, I think. I kind of want to look for like a peak here. Maybe it's a bit unrealistic. Maybe we can't kill them though, maybe. Nice. Get tower here. Void grub spawn! Where's my void grub, bruh? There it is! That was so late. I actually missed the buy gold, but it's all good. So Nocturne could come and ult me bot. Yeah, he's coming to ult me bot. I'm not sure when his ult is off cooldown, so I'm gonna drop the cannon. I know it's on cooldown right now, but I know it's like gonna be soon up, right? Oh my god, Nash went hubris. That is pretty giga chad. I'll go mid here. Want to match the gin? It's so after 14 15 minutes, always go mid pretty much. Why don't you play Presence of Mine on Kaisa? Mm, I kind of got used to playing without a. I was going into Absorb Life every game, and now I'm just testing different things. I think Absorb Presence of Mine is fine too. But I don't know if this. Ay! What they're doing here is not turn around them or? Bro, the Talia actually walked in a way that he could get hit. What the f***? No f way. Should I nearly kill both? If I played it better, I think I killed both. Should have not gotten hidden by the first uh, Aurora spells. Anything more about Aurora, I'm... I'm... Right now, Aurora feels like a bit Nico to me, that I keep dying to her randomly. It's really bad to die in games like this. I should be serial deaths this game, I think. Or one death, I think I should be. How do you cancel Kai's Evolve? If you type Exclamation Mark Evolve, you'll see a YouTube short on how to do it. Going over all the tips and tricks. Where's our... Okay, our mess is top. I was thinking we were outnumbered here. Like, we killed Nocturne, but they still have more people on my screen. Ah. 
I knew Nocturne wanted to ult on me, so I wanted to get the last auto on her before no, not Nocturne, Warwick, I mean. Speaking up, so Nocturne is gonna ulti on me now. But I feel like Nasus is lying. I'm pretty sure when I checked that Nasus and Jin were top, they both had TP. Or that he had TP. I'm pretty damn sure, chat. I'm pretty damn sure. Uh, the fact that we're giving them third Drake when we are like two items on bot and support and jungle. Like, we're so far ahead on many roles. Mystic uh, tower defense by Jin here. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's fine to not to go Nash as well. I think we could go Nash. It's a bit of a risky call, you know? Like high risk, high reward. Maybe this is actually a Zonius fourth type of game. I think the Zonius active is really good this game. Yeah, I think maybe I should go Zonius. Well, I'm going Void now. Boom! Hey, the red buff was there. Yeah, Sun is really good skin for sure. Lasting one over the magic pen thing? I think so, no? 45 AP better than 25 AP and 13% magic pen? I'm actually not sure. Maybe the, this one is better. I'm not the AP connoisseur, you know? I'm a non data ADC mate. I buy the AD items. Ask me if you should go Rectrix or Pickaxe, and I got the answer. If you ask me about these Cook Mage items, I don't know. They weren't built for me. So, uh, Nash. I was thinking about ulting deeper on the Nocturne, but didn't want to go too deep in their base. I was fine going either on Jin or Nocturne. I did an auto tower. I did. It's not true what they're telling you. He's gonna look to turn. Ooh, knew it. She got predicted. Wait, I nearly died to that? When you build Shadow Flame on Kaisa, I think never on this build. I think only if you go like full AP build. So on this build, you're getting your AP item so late that it's better to buy percentage pen rather than flat pen. Hey. Okay, she's fine actually. Bye bye, Nocturne. Bye bye. Let's play mid bot here. We have inib on top, so no reason to go top, right? We're gonna get triple inib here and try to look for picks wherever we can. We found the Warwick. Don't have ulti, so I can't assassinate the in. If I had ult now, I could ult W on his head. Nocturne does have ulti when he spawns now. He could look to ulti on me. And Aurora also, so I'm hugging. You can see I'm hugging really both side here, because I know Aurora can come from top side. And my team is all both sides, so I need to play with them. Because I hug both side, it also means that I move way faster to bots. Nice, got the W. Dodge the brand. Passive. Ult in four. Ah, Shival. Could have maybe found an ulti on Aurora. Also run out of mana. Barely don't have enough for Zonias, to be honest. It's like getting boosted in League. Like, who cares? about your rank if you didn't earn it oh my goodness the damage that analogy made no sense ah fuck my w ah she's going back and forth you'll remember joey promising a world ticket that is a betrayal i will never forget can we end we can not yeah we can we can we can and the show yeah yeah okay maybe kaisa is the elo key chat maybe kaisa is the elo key I was looking for it. I was looking for the ELO ticket, the ELO printer, the LP printer. And maybe, just maybe, we found it in the form of Kaisel. I can see a good laning phase, strong scaling, a ton of agency and mechanics, you know? Like you can outplay everybody with your stealth, with your ulti, everything. And that's what I need. I need to outplay 
these noobs. I need to outplay them. Left and right. Left and right. Also, I can go... But I need to go AP build, I think. The AP build, I'm pretty sure it's just trash. 51,000 damage. Look at NASA's damage. Look at NASA's damage. This guy needs to be gone. This guy probably thinks he had a, a positive impact on the game while doing less damage than their f everybody in the whole game. <laughs> Nash sent me this that Envy Jeller sent him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, guys, we have a problem. I have Annie mid, noon the top. What the fuck is this? Please go AD champ. I want to go AP guys. So. We're back in diamond one chat. Now we just need to get master. We need to get high low. My peak. Ooh, Camille. Nash feeling spicy today. That's the problem I've been having with champ skew. It's like, I want to play champ skew, but I don't usually play after like 11. And these people are playing like at midnight and at 1 and 2 a.m. And if I want to stream before Worlds, how the f do I do that? I've been going to bed at like 10, 10 30. So I can wake up at 8. So I can stream before Worlds. But if I'm also going to play Shamsku. And I also like waking up early. I'm an early bird. You know? I feel good when I wake up early. I feel like when I don't. I'm really jealous of the people I can fall asleep for like 5 minutes. Or in 5 minutes. For me, it takes at least like 30 minutes always. Sometimes an hour, sometimes more. I need to be like, I need to be locked. I need to be dialed in with my sleep to actually get good sleep. I fall in sleep instantly, f you. You are privileged. I do everything, I can do everything right. This can still take me an hour to fall asleep. Fight or flight. Only now, I do not They're playing really scared, little one. Nice. This is really good. I guess we do hard beat them with one. Me with my drummer paths to the Orn lane. You're you're really talented and not stupid, I think. Oh, are you passing the Orn? You have Pike Camille support. Come on, bro. Pike Camille is your support and you're passing the top? Those are the most aggressive supports in the game. It's absolutely no sense. And now we need to play really scared here. Cancel not another orange jinx, should have got one on. I decided I need to play as scared. But I canceled another auto I did. Looks like in this support matchup, whoever goes in first is winning. If Pike hooks first, he's winning. If Camille E's first, she's winning. Oh, we just slow push here because I can't approach the wave. I W there because I know she has to get stuck in W animation. I can start like bait the Camille. <gasps> my mouse, my mouse, my mouse, please, my mouse, my mouse. I got so scared there. But Nash would go in as soon as my mouse DC'd. I came to Oh, he buffed it there. The thing is, it's wireless chat, but it's kind of broken, so I have to use it with the wire always. Um, but sometimes even then. Not bad, not bad. Let's take the base here. Um, <clears throat> but I think uh, Logitech is going to send me a new one. Because I gave them, like, I talked to my heretics manager and I gave him all my info. From the impression I got was that they would send me another one. Yes, it could develop into a problem. Yes, I have... MOVEMENT! Yes, I have it! Oh my god, even Iron is here. Have you made Jinx, ER, Runans, I build in this meta? Uh, I'm a victim. Iron is pretty far. Not terrible, but uh, uh, I get six here. I spent fifty dollars on a wireless dongle, so I don't use my mouse wireless anymore. What? But doesn't it have like a charging cable you can use? Or I'm confused. That's what I use. Pike tries to kill me and then I biscuit up because he's gonna get like surprised by my biscuits. Biscuit up! I'm just going to try for Skamel. He's cooking a bit.
Thompson is ranting that every player in Halo is stuck down because these LP changes. I mean, for sure that's part of it. Like, the fact that my LP gains are not good. I can also not But the problem is Iron is coming here. I get level 7 off this minion. Oh, Iron is not behind us though. Ooh, Nash! That was clean. Oh, he has shields back up? Bro, how broken is Iron? I have a dream, Shet! I have a dream that once I get to see my fucking jungler this game. Just once, 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 once. Oh, Here. I mean, Iron can't be here, right? We saw Iron on top. Not bad. No, we can't dive. It's behind them. This Iron is the gold, bro. This Iron is the gold, I'm afraid. I did see my jungler. It's true, I did see him. I have ulti, I can kill him. Oh, this is good by, uh... TP by Vagar. Nice. I could come, but he has no ulti, so I think he can't kill me. I mean, Jinx really overstayed her, right? Like, I died, and she stayed all the way till I was back, back from base. Classic mistake, classic mistake. I need this plate for pickaxe, that's why I'm staying here. If I already had item, I wouldn't stay for this. But because I need the gold for pickaxe, I'm gonna stay. The Atrix wants to go both? I think you just go, yeah, you just go top backing Atrix. I mean, she died to me because she didn't wanna give assist to Vagar, you know? She saw the TP. And we'll kill the Orn here, they will get grubs, they will get top tower, we will get bot tower. Probably Atrix will die. They played well. I want the assist or kill here. Vagar keeps dying solo. 1 and 5. Aatrox dies here. Maybe Pike input. Okay, the first tower is f mid lane, that's insane. Losing first tower mid this early in the game is really, really bad shot. I also don't understand how Tristana is like, killing the Vagar. Can't you just cage and then clear the wave? That's all good though. I'm strong. Gonna go for this wave. I'll meet him here, wait until he uses W, nice. This guy should be dead. He's still dead. Nice. I just knew I didn't have to get, I uh, had to not get hit by the E and everything would be chill. Very nice, very nice. I did not pay attention to Tristana though. Hopefully she's not running me down. I can stay on the map because I have red buff. We have no plenty for me. I don't have crazy, like anything crazy to buy. You can see how I funneled myself so much through this. I got two bot waves, I got orn kill, now I get crab, and then one and a half mid wave. Oof, oof. And this is just while my team is like fighting, right? So even if my team loses the fight, even if they win the fight, I'm still getting myself crazy far ahead. And now I'm probably like 1, 1k, 2k ahead of Jinx. Oh, I didn't get the isolated Q. I would've killed him if I did. Oh my god. This Ivern Pike uh, combo is quite obnoxious. They are so strong and slow me down so much. It's actually crazy. Ivern damage is insane. Oh, this champion is still OP. I don't know why nobody plays it. I'm gonna push this wave and then move to my team. Mm, maybe I just go hit mid tower here. Yeah. Iron's gonna be here, bro. Oh my god, Vega, what are you doing? An ally has been 
Okay, I got a lot of gold from this. <clears throat> got a lot of gold from this. So you can see how I'm constantly finding like angles to farm a little bit here and there. Like I take the mid wave into joining my team. Then after they die, I take the mid wave again. Shit like that adds up. Like now I have a 30 CS lead on the Jinx when I was equal CS with her coming out of lane. And that's how you kind of keep keep growing the CS lead is that you're able to constantly find resources on the map. Maybe enemies not able to. But now I'll take wolves here because I know like Belif has like so many camps up. And her clear clearing all the camps is just going to take too long time. So I'll be taking wolves is like completely fine. This is so deep now. I really don't like this. Way too deep, Nash. Way too deep. I did a weird ass flush. 6k. This uh, Vagar kind of loves tanking seal shots, I feel like. Oh shit, they finished Nash already. Okay, we're into it, nice. My W is really bad. But they got stuck in the pit, huge. I should've killed Tristana, my bad. We, we got her, we got her. Okay, huge, 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 five for zero. God damn, what a terrible Nash call. Probably Nash there is like, it's bad if you don't have a good plan to like turn, you know? And they had no way to really turn. Like, Pike needed to hit the hook, and they got stuck in the pit against our comp, they get run down. Maybe it wasn't a terrible call, and they could have played it better. So Orn inted, right? The Orn inted completely, missed every spell and died. I mean, Nash really set up that Nash, you know? <laughs> I'm, here all, I'm here all day, folks. Here all day. Oof. This is a dangerous zone right now. Oh, she actually blocked it. The Yinxie. The Jinx didn't block the W if Pike was dead. I mean, the Pike went a bit crazy there. I don't think he would go for that. Don't die, Vagar. What are you doing? Yeah, you got one, I guess. I don't know how... Did everybody die? Aatrox died, and then Camille died, and now Vagar died. Weird sequence of events. Oh, Kristana jumping in. What the fuck? Very optimistic flash here from Ivern. Something tells me you're not gonna live, buddy. I don't know, both teams are just throwing it back back and forth! We throw it back and forth! No, you! No, you! Okay, nice shot. We get the dragon. <clears throat> Mountain dragon. Really good dragon. I get some resistances. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oof. Poor armor. I ulti on this? I think I do. Oh, I didn't kill him though. My bad. He died, I guess. This Vagar is a Giga Shad. The entire Yump, I think I'm fine. It's gonna Yump again. Yes! Holy. Quick thinking, chat. That's what you need to excel in League of Legends. Quick thinking. Pretty sure the fruit saved me. Pretty sure the fruit saved me. We can still easily lose this game, chat. All they need is like it's like it's really team fight dependent, right? Whoever plays the team fight better wins. And uh, I would be more confident if my Vagar and Aatrox were more stable, but they're not very stable. Oh, she fucked up the QSS. Assassinate that motherfucker! Whoa! End the game. GG! GG chat! I look for the Inter. I look for the Inter. I find the Tristana. Inter, Inter, Inter inside. Then I see the Yinx. Inter, Inter, Inter inside. Get her flash. Inter, Inter, Inter inside. Yeah, yeah. And that's how you play Kaiser chat. That's how you play guys. GG! GG. Ah, uh, Kaisa's the elo pick. Kaisa's the elo pick. We found it! We found the tree! Finally! After many days of struggling in this disgusting freak season, we found the key. It's Kaisa. It's Kaisa. AP Kaisa. Go, go, go. AP Kaisa. Go, go, go. What if the Inter is me? Oh, shit. If the Inter is you, well... It's over for you, I'm afraid. Then you need my coaching, which you can find now at my Discord. Yes! The self-advertisement is so sad.